Hello and welcome to this video on solving linear equations where the variable appears on both sides of the equation. And what makes this a linear equation, by the way, is that we have x terms like 5x, 3x, 7x, etc. And we have what are called constant terms, like the plus 7, which don't have a variable in it. But we don't have any, for example, x squared terms or x cubed terms, etc. And we say this equation is linear because of that. Now, notice the difference with the previous video where we solved linear equations. This time we've got an x term on both sides of the equation. So how do we deal with that? Well, what we want to do is collect the x terms on just one side of the equation so that we then only have a single occurrence of x. So we've got 5x on the left-hand side and we've got 4x on the right-hand side. And what you do is you collect on the side where there's more x's to make it easiest. So what's bigger, 5x or 4x? Well, 5x is clearly bigger. So we want to get rid of that 4x. Well, seven, you're adding 4x to it. How would you get rid of that 4x? Well, if we added 4x, the opposite is to subtract 4x. So we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. And then let's just see what happens. So when we do 5x and we subtract 4x, well, we can collect those together to just get 1x or just x. And then when we subtract 4x from this side, 7 plus 4x, but you're minusing 4x, it gets rid of that 4x. So we're just left with 7. And let's just check that, that actually works. If x is 7, well, 5 times 7 is 35. So we've got 35. 4 times 7 is equal to 28 plus 7. And 28 plus 7 is 35. That is indeed true. So it did work. Let's do some more examples. We've got 3x is equal to 2x plus 5. Now, we first decide, are there more x's on the left-hand side the right-hand side? Well, 3x is bigger than 2x, so we're going to get rid of that 2x, and we're going to do that by subtracting 2x from both sides. So when we do that, 3x minus 2x is just 1x, or just x. 2x minusing the 2x gets rid of it, and you're just left with 5, and you're done. x is 5. What about this second one? This one's a bit harder. We've got 5y is equal to 2y plus 15. Now, there's more y's on the left-hand side, so we don't want that 2y. We're going to subtract the 2y from both sides. So 5y minus 2y is 3y. 2y, and we're going to subtract the 2y, gets rid of it. We're just left with 15. And this time, we have to do an additional step, because we don't have y on its own. y is being multiplied by 3. So we know from the previous video, to get rid of that times by 3, we divide both sides by 3. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So that gets rid of the times by 3, leaving y. And 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. And now we are done y is equal to 5. What about the next one? We've got 6x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 18. So we do exactly the same thing as we did before. We decide, are there more x's on the left-hand side or the right-hand side? Well, 6x is bigger than 2x, so we're going to get rid of that 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. So if we do that, 6x minus 2x is 4x. We've still got that minus 2 there. Now we've subtracted 2x, so that got rid of the 2x, just leaving 18. And now we've got something that looks very familiar from the last video, this kind of equation where x only appears once. So, well, x has been multiplied by 4, and then you're subtracting 2. So do you remember that we have to undo things in reverse order? So if the last thing we did was subtract 2, we have to undo that first by adding 2. So adding 2 gets rid of the minus 2, so we have 4x, and 18 plus 2 is 20. And then x being multiplied by 4, we want to divide by 4 to get rid of the times by 4, the opposite. And that means that x is equal to 5. We've got the next one. We've got 25 plus a is equal to 5a plus 1. Now, are there more a's on the right-hand side or the left-hand side? We've got five lots of a here, only one lot of a here. There's more a's on the right-hand side, so we're going to collect the a's on the right-hand side, which means we want to get rid of that plus a, which we do by subtracting a. So we subtract a from both sides, then we're just going to be left with 25. It's got rid of the a. 5a minus a is 4a, but we've still got that plus 1. 
And then, well, A has been multiplied by 4, and then you're adding 1. So the last thing we need to undo is the plus 1, so we minus 1, we subtract 1 from both sides. And then 25 minus 1 is 24. Subtracting 1 gets rid of that plus 1, leaving 4A. Then divide both sides by 4, we get 6 is equal to A. Or if you like, we could write A is 6, because we often have the variable on the left-hand side, but that's absolutely fine. It's still very clear that a is equal to 6. Right, next few questions. We've got 3 minus 2x is equal to 4 plus 7x. Now let's decide again, are there more x's on the left or right? 7x here and minus 2x. Well, 7 is clearly bigger than minus 2, so we want to collect on the right-hand side. So to get rid of the minus 2x, we do the opposite. We add 2x. So now we're just going to have 3. Adding 2x gets rid of the minus 2x, and here we've got, well, we've still got the 4, but the 7x plus the 2x is 9x. Well, x is being multiplied by 9, then you're adding 4 to it, so we want to get rid of that plus 4, so we minus 4, we subtract 4 from each side. 3 subtract 4 is minus 1, and then the minus 4 gets rid of that plus 4, so we're just left with 9x. And then x is being multiplied by 9, so we divide both sides by 9. And it's going to be fractional and negative, but so what? Um, so negative 1, we need to divide it by 9 and get minus 1 over 9. And don't try and convert it to a decimal approximation, that would just be stupid. Right, so 6, the last one, we've got 3, 2x minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 minus 2x. Now, it might look a bit intimidating because we've got a lot going on, but just do it step by step and it becomes much less intimidating. So, as I explained in the previous video, if you've got some brackets in your equation, it's often a good idea to expand those out first. So, we're going to do three lots of each of the things in the brackets. So we do three lots of 2x, which is 6x, and 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3. We've got the plus 4 still, and we've still got this stuff. Then I tend to tidy up first, so let's collect like terms. Well, we know that minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1. So it's 6x plus 1 is equal to 5 minus 2x. And then let's decide now, are there more x's on the left or right? Well, 6x is bigger than minus 2x. So we're going to collect the x's on the left-hand side. We don't want that minus 2x, so we've got to add 2x to get rid of it. So this then becomes 6x plus 2x is 8x. we still got that plus 1. And then we're just left with a 5 because we added the 2x. Then we need to get rid of that plus 1. So 8x is equal to 4. And then we divide both sides by 8. So 4, when you divide it by 8, you get 4 over 8, which is the same as half. So we have that. Now let's just finish with some test your understanding questions and the reason this piece of paper is so scrappy is because it's actually the, the end of my roll. So I have to order some new paper. Right, we've got these two questions here. We've got 7x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 30. And as our second one, we've got 10 minus 2 brackets 3 minus 2x is equal to x. So you may want to pause the video here to have a go at these. Right, let's have a go. So, we first see, are there more x's on the left-hand side or the right-hand side? Well, 7x is bigger than 2x, so it's going to be on the left, which means we want to get rid of that 2x. So, let's subtract 2x from both sides to get rid of it, because 30, we're adding 2x, aren't we? So we subtract 2x to undo that. So, 7x minus 2x is 5x minus 5 the 2x is now gone, so we're left with 30. Now, x has been multiplied by 5, and then you're subtracting 5. So you undo these things in reverse order. So, so the opposite of minus 5 is add 5. So that just becomes 5x. We've got rid of the minus 5 because we added 5 to cancel it out. 30 plus 5 is 35. And then divide both sides by 5. x has been multiplied by 5, so you divide by 5 to undo it and that becomes 7. Well done, have you got that one right? And then this one, this is harder. Now, a lot of students would do 10 minus 2 to get 8 and then do 8 times this, which would be wrong because it's effectively, separately, you've got 10 
and then you're subtracting two lots of this as a separate thing because of bidness, that that multiplication comes first, the minus 2 times the 3 minus 2x. So let's expand that out first. So we've got the 10, minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, minus 2 times minus 2x, well negative times negative is positive, so it becomes positive 4x, and we've got that equals x over there. Uh, then always tidy up if you expand it out, well 10 minus 6 is just 4, we've got plus 4x is equal to x. Now we decide, are there more x's on the left or right? Well 4x is bigger than x, so we're going to do it on the left hand side. So we want to get rid of that x, to get rid of it we subtract x, now, we've got 4 still, 4x minus x is 3x, and x minus x is just 0, just like 10 minus 10 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, x minus x is 0. Now, x has been multiplied by 3, then you're adding 4. You want to get rid of the add 4, so you subtract 4 from both sides, so that 0 minus 4 becomes minus 4, and then x has been multiplied by 3, so you divide both sides by 3, and it's going to be minus 4 over 3, because we divided by 3. And well done if you got that right.